And now, our feature presentation. It's the only pull up of the movies. I'm going to just throw some heat on there and pretend it's stuff. We start this movie off with post chemotherapy Tony Stark on his deathbed stranded in space. He's trying to send a message to Earth, but knowing how far you are, I know that whole worse than Android quality. I'm surprised he even thought that was gonna work. While my dog is literally about to see the pearly gates, the strongest Avenger pulls up. Yep, Captain Marvel. Hey Stark, you wanna come jump Thanos? What you go literally dying? <laughs> We get to the room and Cap starts interrogating Tony Stark. And this man is pissed. Rightfully so. Yep. Cap's like, oh, did he leave you with any coordinates? Coordinates? I was on Titan getting cooked. There's only two niggas on that planet that get blocks. <laughs> Where was y'all? He was out with them Wakanda shooters defending your weak ass vision. <laughs> what are you talking about? Vision get blocks. Nah, bro, you ain't here. His boxing free trial ran out. You should have caught the warranty. Damn. He's worse than Hawkeye now. And Tony Stark's so appalled that his own creation can fall off like that falls to his knees. And while he gets escorted out, they decide to pull up on Thanos. So we pull up, and for some reason, Bruce is on the ship, and I'm out here like, what is he going to accomplish? <laughs> and some people in the comments of the last video are really like, come on, Zeph, chill on Bruce, he bagged Widow. <laughs> some people be talking about when y'all think woman is all that matters in life. This man was the number one sellout in a battle to save the universe. <laughs> and you want me to brush it off just because this nigga got some pussy? Oh, wow, y'all, all my problems gone now. He got Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> we go Note that. Black Widow um, kissed Captain America in um, Winter Soldier. Note that. Go to the planet and we see the fit <laughs> of the century. The astral attire that required the lives of the universe to be attained. And after 150 minutes of me seeing Thanos be the coldest thing I've never seen, yes, I am glazing. I'm taking Squidward's legacy. I'm gonna <laughs> be guzzling. We see my glorious king out here exploring nature and all my real ones know you only care about the environment after you lost your first baddie. And I tried to show him no Drake. He couldn't <laughs> handle that Lady Death re Coil. Now look at him. This is tragic. The twerk wind got my dog looking like he two face. Next time you gotta get behind all that, make it a two man. I got you, twin. But afterwards we get to Thanos and what is he doing? Cook it. What is he cooking? The world may never know. <laughs> but hey, he whipping it right now. You know what I'm saying? But while he's cooking up his eats, he gets jumped in his own home. They out here interrogating Thanos, and now we got Bruce trying to press Thanos. Like, oh, you trying to be a big man? Get your lame ass son. Got that dang. Stark rental you got on, you can't box to save your life. He retired, you fraud! <laughs> Thanos, where's the VVS diamonds? The whole block reposting your shit. Gone. Reduced to atoms. I use the stones to destroy the stones. Phantom, check my wrist. That shit is fake. You did all that for fake diamonds? Ah! Hey, Congratulations, <laughs> Thor. You did exactly what you had to do. Except the whole movie late. <laughs> After this, we get a whole bunch of time travel plot side quest stuff. Speed run through a lot of this. We get five minutes of awkward interactions between Tony Stark and his dad. Hawkeye sacrifices a Black Widow just so he can get an essence of the sauce that Thanos had. But... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just don't work with you, nigga. You're not him. <laughs> and then we had Captain America <laughs> fighting it, his old self. And all the Captain America me writers always be going against me. But this is proof that he fell off. 2012 Cap was on his ass. Yeah. Cap started hitting his favorite thing in the world, choking. Doesn't matter if you're in a tin suit or can't even breathe air. She will still grapple you. He think he baki. But nice try, dumbass. They don't even be grappling in that show. They be doing shit like this. Don't ask! That it's was, was until the regular cap hit that. What the actual? For my dog to completely freeze up. Captain America hears the word Bucky and his internal organs stop moving. <laughs> I would fry you, but I'm not gonna lie, that's W Man's activity. Literally cannot function without his main dog. But after all that, we get back to the present. We got the Avengers Big Three posted up trying to box Thanos. And this man's aura. Oh my god. Uh, I've been doing this since high school, bro. Y'all don't know about Teehezy over here. He can take my big, he can take yours. He probably already has yours, not gonna lie. He's about to do a little boxing for mine. I'm gonna let him have it, though. And they're out there staring him down. And the fact that this man is just sitting on a rock, stunted like he's posing for Vogue, is what the three strongest fighters on the earth consider a trap. That's when I knew before any time I referred to Thanos, I have to put greatest of all time before it. I have never seen such an illuminating, immaculate presence. Hmm. Sit upon my screen though. Get off that nigga dick, bro. What is he <laughs> doing? 
He start walking up to Thanos and he's like, you could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. Nigga quoted me word for word what I said to my ex when she tried to spin back. You ain't slick, nigga. Stop jacking my shit. And then we got this man Thanos spinning straight scripture for the next two minutes. He's like, oh, I only killed half y'all niggas and you still complaining? I'm gonna grind all y'all to dust. I'm gonna have y'all's empty ass planets as my Fitbit. Not only that, y'all time travel and your fits are still ass. Hey, I'm gonna put this shicey back on because you killed all the barbers, nigga. Yeah, keep yapping, whole ass nigga. What happened to you? You got fat as shit. Today's our boxing crazy. And I'm not gonna lie, the big three was really cooking up and I'm just watching this with tears in my eyes because it should really be the big four. But no, they turned the Hulk into this prissy punk ass nigga. Who the most he did this entire movie was throw a bench when he got mad. Yeah. Thor and Iron Man hit this team combo where Thor juices up Iron Man and he sprays right at Thanos. And that's how I know this is a Thanos from 2012. Because no way this is a <laughs> spinner in this day and age. This is why I really hate you old niggas trying to stay and be hip. Just admit that you fell off. Look at Drake. Instead of letting a young nigga run it, what does he say? I cut it up, Thor whips his hammer right at Thanos, only for Thanos to hold Iron Man like I hold my children, and got whipped right into a cement cradle. Bro was literally sleep. Look at him. And then we got Captain America pulling up on Thanos, hitting theatrics just to land a single kick. It gets punted right off. Like what did that accomplish? Even fat ass Thor is still cooking up. Keep this slide here. This man is built like three caps, and he's still moving this elegantly. Thanos whips the Stormbreaker out of Thor's hands, and I felt this man visibly sweating. And not because he's so fat, he gotta take a break just to come down the stairs. It's the fact that without a weapon, this man cannot fight. This is his greatest fear. Boxing! The moment the Stormbreaker was out of his hands, bro was frozen. He didn't know what to do. He ain't even trying to defend himself. The only time he put his hand up was to recall the Stormbreaker. I'm about to put on the fraud alarm. This nigga is garbage. If he don't got that shit in his hands, he just a blood nigga. Thanos is about to kill Thor for the second time. First his career and now his life. And then he gets slammed with the hammer. And who is that? Oh my gosh! It's Lil Uzi! Nah, I'm playing. It's just Steve Rogers. Got my dog catching the hammer like he's Omar. You're not him, Steve. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie. The audience went absolutely crazy when this happened. When um, Cat finally wheeled Minonia, everybody went crazy in my um audience when I saw Onam oh, um, and this came out. Steve Rogers finally picking up the utensils. It's time for him to cook. But now before Thanos slams my boy Thor to the floor. Like, damn, he made sure he ain't forget about you. Thor starts charging that Cap, only for Cap to start whipping this hoe and then hitting this Mario ass jump on him. I'm not gonna lie, bro started getting creative as hell. Throwing the hammer at the shield in order to prolong his combo. I'm not gonna lie, this is nothing but straight heat. He started hitting Clash Royale zaps on Thanos and almost crushes this man's head off, only for Thanos to weave out the way and slam him to the floor. And this is when I knew Thanos was tight as shit. Cause he charges that cap and he destroys his drip. Yep. This man Thanos cares about his fits more than anything. He them type of niggas, he don't care if it's 120 degrees outside. If the hoodie matches with the fit, he's gonna put that shit on. And the fact that he ripped it off, I already started the countdown. It's a wrap. Because he really started beefing with Cap right here. Putting hands on him, he couldn't even keep up anymore. He picks up the blade and he slams Captain America's shield. And he actually cracks through that hole. Had Cap gulping, he couldn't believe his eyes. Yes, buddy, no one's coming up the rocks telling you this shit is a prank. You got scammed. <laughs> Iron Man definitely gave you a team who ass knockoff. You jumped in for him being mad about his parents. It is not sweet for you, bro. And Thanos starts thrashing the shield. Got it looking like the bitten off Apple logo. Thanos watches him away and then Cap is on the floor. Defeated. And Thanos calls down the entire army. And my dog stayed ten toes down no matter the scenario. He's out there standing in front of Thanos' entire army. Ready to take him off all on by himself and every time i see shit like this in fiction i start to shed tears this is nothing but real peak unraveling before my very eyes cap is about to charge right in and then we get hit with the coldest pull up of all time yes sir on your left and yes sir off with black oh, yeah. panther pulling up with vengeance and then we get the whole gang pulling up for smoke I'm not gonna lie i can't even think of a simile to use as a joke this scene is just that fine yeah. y'all already know what it's about but before i move on when i was watching this scene i really realized this is the 
only pull up in this entire film. I can't even call this whole Avengers pull up part two. That shit would be clickbait. The only two pull ups in this movie besides this one, Iron Man was swerving the coop to the Avengers <laughs> HQ just to scam cap and Ant-Man. And I hate this nigga. But this is the only pull up of the movie, so I'ma just throw some heat on there and pretend it's stuff. He jumped through Thanos' bussy, the movie would have been over, completed, oh finished! They had uh, to snuff my boy! My bad, what was we on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we get to... Yeah, that, that, that freaking theory of um how Scott Scott going to Thanos' butthole was absolutely crazy, man. That whole damn theory. This huge CGI <laughs> war fest. There's some cute scenes in between a lot of this, but they do not care about the mission. Because their goal is to get all the stones and send them back to their rightful time. But I'm telling you, they just wanted an excuse to box. Because there is no way the fate of the universe is put upon this gauntlet and you gave this hope to Hawkeye. Y'all niggas ain't avenging shit. Thank the Lord Black Panther pulled up and saved this. This entire movie will be over after 15 yards. Black Panther gets the gauntlet and he starts going ballistic. A dog was made for this, only for Thanos to lock him down. We was about to get the Black Panther Thanos 1v1 only for Wanda to intervene. Yeah, and Wanda's over there talking about some. My shorty, he was a two-year-old machine. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I, he definitely had the built-in Rolls toy. He should not be tweaking like this. <laughs> and then was just like, I don't even know who you are. And that's a perfect Zero. reaction. Wanda pulling up on him like the relatives you ain't seen since he was two. And then they pull up at the reunion talking about some, Oh, you remember me, son? What's me? Who are you, nigga? Loki, it was the wrong thing to say because Wanda started physically tweaking. I could see it in her eyes. And then she said this right here. I was like, nah, we about to see a generational body. But yeah. Wanda really started greasing my mans because in a total of three hits, Thanos hitting the Kaepernick, putting his hand up in fear as if his parents about to beat him or something. <laughs> but he starts pushing down on Wanda and look at his face. He really thought he was up. And then Wanda hit this right here. Oh my God, I almost fell in love. Because she punts him right up and his whole weapon flies to the bench. And that hole is sliced. He finally realized that he had to deal with the consequences of his actions. Wanda lifts him up in the air and she started ripping this man apart. Yeah. Pulling him by the seams like he's a helpless toy. And she was all like, Thanos, you about to die. Only for Thanos to be like, <laughs> Hey, no! Spray the nigga! <laughs> Action, Shire, the troops! Just do it! And then they rained the Hail Mary on the entire field for friendly no fire man bro was just being a sore loser Thanos <laughs> has to resort to friendly fire just to yep. get her off him this is nothing but generational talent if Wanda <laughs> didn't turn crazy because she lost her android dick I would have signed him after <laughs> Thanos pulls the Hail Mary Spider-Man gets the gauntlet and I shouldn't even call this man Spider-Man because all this scene does to me is prove that he is the worst iteration of the character because there is no way yeah. you are spider-man selling the gauntlet who running with an item through danger should be your strong suit that spider sense should have had you moving like ultra instinct <laughs> right now my man over here has to activate instant kill and he flops only to give it off to captain marvel like all i gotta say is you put the all-star weave nation draft one pick in the verse miles morales in that hole the movie's over in two minutes what are we talking about right now, bro? They knew not to put a real nigga in the paint, nigga. What the fuck? But anyways, like I was saying, you got this OPS nigga, Captain Marvel, pulling yep, going out through the that whole shit. fleet single-handedly. This Minecraft creative mode ass Avenger. It would be tight as hell seeing her Superman ass floating like this. Like, dog, who allowed this? Captain Marvel pulls up on Peter, and I'm watching this scene, and that little look she giving at Peter, and the tone of voice she got right now, I'm not gonna lie, they would've had me! I would've been in that bit folded. I'm sorry, the coon chip is already activated. Yeah, no. I see prime milk and I couldn't even contain myself. I would give her the gauntlet, my wallet, my social security. Baby, <laughs> I got you. And we got this pull up right here, and unlike the last one, y'all can talk trash about this one. The boys did it better. Captain Marvel was about to end this entire movie, but peep this lead pass right here by Thanos. Like, I need you to understand how crazy this is. He was behind Captain Marvel, through the spear, and it beat Captain Marvel at her Minecraft creative ass speeds and blew up the machine. Hey bro, if you don't get your 8-3 ass to the Chiefs immediately <laughs> instead of being a terrorist, please, thank you. But 
everyone starts playing a hot potato for the gauntlet right here, there is a lot of very strange things that are happening on the screen right now. Like, number one, is Iron Man really able to push Thanos like this? This right. man is quite literally a walking bulldozer. And I know damn well the suit wasn't helping him because that shit was on E. The whole fight after Thanos put him in his cradle. And then number two, we got this right here. We got Thor pushing up on Thanos and then here go Captain America. What is he gonna do? Ass nigga, I'm yes. Captain Marvel and Thanos really started trading blows back to back. You know Captain Marvel, her OPS can apparently do anything. I'm watching this and I'm like, you know, huh? huh? <laughs> I'm confused, just like you, twin. Because she puts him to his knees and Thanos was really about to get packed up. Now Thanos remember what brought him here to begin with, the VVs. He grabs one of them hoes and then slams her ass right Damn. off him. Iron Man gets back up, he's like, oh nah, we're getting cooked. Only for Doctor Strange to look at him and give him the one. Iron Man realizes what he has to do. He go back to Thanos and he finally reawakened the sauce. Iron Man grabs the gauntlet and Thanos launches him right off. Thanos hits the I am inevitable. Was about to hit the toughest IG caption on earth. Hit him with the two times with the whole gauntlet iced out. He knows both his hoes and his gang will be in them comments tweaking. In front of this 4K ass wallpaper too? Oh man, he had it all set up. That Fitbit was about to be for the millennia. Only for it to fail. He got hit with the swindle, the switcheroo, the boost <laughs> with the weekend to that ass finesse. I don't even know how little bro pulled that off. Gotta be on IG showing his bling like how Homicide Gang did to Summers. <laughs> Look at my watch, mama. On that young boy shit. You got Iron Man juiced up with all the sauce. I was hearing future in the background. They let me know if I was famous. I got two months off. And things of that nature. That I am Iron Man post about to be the hardest IG pick since I love the 3000. This man feeling like Optimus with these quotes right now. <laughs> and then he snaps. And then we see Thanos' entire camp getting wiped out. And even before he dies, he has to get one last flick for the gram. He was sitting there on his live <laughs> like he was LA. ex. Wanting <laughs> to sit down as if he's Jimmy Butler. His legacy will not be forgotten. Right. And we see Tony Stark dead. So Peter Parker over here crying tears. We should be going after the other Peter. Our main dog's only dead because Mr. Mario over here wanted to sell. <laughs> Mr. I Mario. Pizza. Face ass. I'm moving on. Next. And then we get to the end of the movie and we got everyone here for Iron Man's funeral. Not a single person here said even the slightest thought to Black Widow. She really sacrificed her life for the drip and ain't not one <laughs> nigga care about it. That's, that's tough. That's why you don't trust that's, nobody. Uh, we got Captain true. America going back, returning all the stones. And while he does that, he decides to go back to his wife. And when he comes back, he passes off his legacy to the Falcon like how Ace did to Luffy. It's yours now. Back in my day, we wouldn't have a monkey being Captain oh, America. Oh, hell no, but I think no. All right. You gonna tell me what you did? You been reminiscing about that hole for a minute. Oh. Nah. I don't yeah. think I will. He wraps up with Captain America's career ending in the poom poom he's been dreaming his <laughs> entire life to be in, and the Avengers falling off. It's oh God! Tragic, all I gotta say uh. to Cap after he finally got with Peggy, I got next. This. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Woo. That was about 18 minutes, but 18 minutes of hilarity, as always. Was that fire, man? You done? The, yeah, you done. Once again, made an awesome recap. This is one of your best recaps you've ever did, man. Wow. Great job. <laughs> Great job, man. Great job. So... Hot Squad, that concludes my reaction of Zephyr's Avengers Endgame recap. So if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button, comment, share, share your thoughts. How many times you watch Avengers Endgame in theaters in general? And do you, you, know, do you have Avengers Endgame as your number one MC movie of all time? So Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have my Blank Boy Transformers recap in a few moments. So please, we're I'm continuing that marathon of reactions, y'all. Trust me. I know I haven't done like talking about reactions usually, so I'm just gonna go straight to them without me talking, so I have to waste time and all. But yes, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for my reaction of Blank Boy's Transformers recap in a few moments. And of course, stay tuned.